Hi, I'm Sydney Galpern from SeeMeCakes.com and today I'm going to show you part two of the Ice Malt Beer Bottle tutorial where I'm going to explain how to finish off the bottom of the beer bottle and open up the top, which is perfect for using it with cake frame. So I've gotten to the point from part one of the beer bottle making video that I'm at my second pour right now. So this is my second layer of ice malt that I'm draining out right now. So I followed all those steps from the last video and now I'm at the point where it is all draining out. So um, I am being very, very careful with this because the ice malt is about 300 degrees. So I do recommend wearing gloves. But since this bottle is gonna be a little bit different, this is where I'm gonna change it up. Since this bottle is gonna have a closed off bottom, what we need to do now is I'm actually going to stop draining it. Normally you would drain all the excess out, but because we want this to have a closed bottom, what we're going to actually do is stop draining it right before almost all of the excess is drained out. So we want to get almost everything we can out, but there's still a little bit draining out here. What I'm actually going to do is set my bottle mold down upside down so that the hole is underneath and any that little bit of excess that I have is actually going to drain and cover over the bottom. It's all going to pool at the bottom and close it right off so you have a, a completely self-contained bottle with no hole underneath it. So we'll go ahead and let this set up for about 20 to 25 minutes and then we will come back and unmold it. All right, it's been about 25 minutes, so my bottle should be cool by now. I'm just going to test it by picking it up. Okay, so the first indication is it does release from the mat, and then I'm also just going to use my tool here, my silicone sculpting tool, to just press and make sure that it's not still soft. Okay, this feels pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my rubber bands. Just like that. Flex my mold. Okay, there's one side of the bottle done. Flex my mold here first, like an ice cube tray. Just kind of take your time with it and release it out of your mold. Perfect. All right, we have a couple little edges here that kind of ran out, so I'm just going to clip those with my scissors. Okay, perfect. You can see I have a really nice closed bottom here on the bottom of my bottle. And if you have any kind of imperfections on it, you can very, very carefully take your torch and just smooth those over, being careful to stay on the bottom and don't go anywhere near the hollow bottle, okay? So as you can see, this bottle has a bottle cap on it. So that would be perfect for painting with a little bit of gold or silver luster dust to make your cap. But since this bottle is going to be open and pouring, we need to get rid of that bottle cap and put a lip on it. So what we're actually going to do is take our chef's torch here and very, very carefully just start torching the very top. And then I'm going to use my silicone sculpting tool here to just pop a hole right in the top. You can see I just softened it and I'm just popping a hole right in the top and then I'm going to go back, torch a little bit more and then go in again and widen this hole. All right, I can even go in with my silicone ball tool if I want to and get a little bit more of a perfect edge and then I'm just going to kind of wearing your gloves at this point, smooth it out here. And basically by repeating this, it is going to make your hole that your cake frame is going to fit in. So I have my piece of cake frame here that the bottle is actually going to be inserted in. So I'm just going to insert it to see how my size is. I can see it's not quite fitting yet. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Now you'll also see on the outside there is a bit of riveting where the uh, lines from the bottle cap are. We want to get rid of those again because we want more of a lip. So what I'm going to do is just very, very carefully in little increments torch just little bits. And by doing that, kind of letting them dry in between, you can even smooth it over with your silicone sculpting tool. All of those little divots are going to melt away for a nice smooth cap. So I'm just gonna keep repeating, smoothing out the lip, 
and widening it until it will fit directly onto my cake frame. As you can see, I have a nice lip here now and the hole in the top of the bottle is going to be just big enough to fit my cake frame in to hold up my bottle. So now it's ready for its icing image edible label and to be assembled onto our cake. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Wayne from Swank Cakes made another tutorial on how to make the beer mug cake uh, with the cake frame, so make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description. You can check out all the products I used in this video as well as much more at my website, seemecakes.com. And thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep life sweet.